Winning their second consecutive victory in the WAC after knocking off Utah State last week, putting the finishing touches on this one. We have had some amazing numbers, 685 yards of total offense for Tech, 533 for Idaho. Vandals getting a touchdown pass from Brian Reeder to Beltung as they'll try the onside kick, and it's recovered by Colby Cameron, the Bulldogs' third-string quarterback. And here are some of the numbers from the Tech side. Jenkins, a career game, career a career game. Career has done the duty these past two weeks. He has just gotten it done, taking advantage of the offensive line split, and this offensive attack. The way they passed the ball is open up the lanes, allowed him to control the game. It's made this team a dual threat. They can hurt you on the ground. They can hurt you by the pass. Are there any any doubts from uh, those uh, critics of the spread offense right now in this part of the country? Huh? You think he's got it going? I, I think right now he definitely does have it going. And, and let's talk about this the simple fact that he kind of mentioned. You know, they have good athletes here and everything else, but there are particular people that they go and try to get to fit this system. So he's doing this without actually all of his pieces here. Jenkins takes the knee. Has to be a very satisfying effort for him as his team will improve to 3-4, and 2-1 and one in the WAC with a convincing 48-35 win over Idaho. Sonny Dykes out dueling Rob Akey in this one. It was an entertaining game. Very entertaining game. People got their money's worth. Both of these teams had a lot of positives. Of course, there's some negatives and things that they got to work on. But these coaches have to be excited about the, the willingness of their players to fight so hard in four quarters, especially Sonny Dyke, to go two weeks in a row and to have his team surface and play against on teams on paper that seem to be better than what they are. Yeah, it's a bowl team from last year, Idaho, who looked like a potential bowl team this year. 48-35, our final score, Louisiana Tech knocks off Idaho. For Jay Taylor and our entire crew, I'm Trey Bender. The preceding has been an exclusive presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. So long from Ruston, Louisiana. Good night. But it almost...